Konstantin Rusu from Moldova in the red corner. Both 29 years of age. A slight reach advantage for the Serbian. A six centimeter reach advantage. Both these guys making their Senshi debut here. So they've got two things to prove. One, that they want to win. And two, that they want to come back for more of this fantastic Senshi action. The, the world-class platform that we're offering these guys to launch superstars and create legends. So, a nice start to this fight. We know, Jan, in a three-round fight, you haven't got time to pace yourself. And it's very difficult to, uh, you, you've got no time to find out what your opponent's got and what he's about. You know, you have to come in and attack. So the Moldovan there, he's looking very crisp, sharp, nice tight defense. Um, the Serbian, very relaxed. Covering, he's tucking in there when the uh, when the Moldovan throws those shots. Oh, and he comes there with a very quick left hook counter. He timed that very well. So he looks relaxed, but actually switched on to the max. And he's bigger. He's got a slight reach advantage, both weighing the same at the weigh-ins. But the Serbian is the bigger guy. Now, welterweight. Weights just under 77 kilos, these guys, but I'm sure they weigh a bit more now. There was a nice right hook there and a nice right. <laughs> They're both throwing right hooks and landing. But I think the power belongs to the um, to the Serbian. There it is, that oh, nice. left hook again. A better low kick there from the Moldovan. And the Serbian comes back with a, a stiffer one of himself. Steps back out of the way, just out of reach of Rusu's punches. And there the Serbian opens up. Another low kick. Oh, nice combination. Nice combination there from Rusu. But um, Sjetkovic, he seems to be trying to time the Moldovan and work him out. And I think this first oh, round. Nice. Yeah, Rusu's really come to fight. Uh, Rusu, very confident. This fight. And you know, they breed them a little bit different out here in the Balkans. Serbians, Moldovans, the Croatians. Um, man, these guys are tough. Yes. And we look there in between rounds. And the Moldovan is corner, giving him instructions. But the Serbian, Sjetkovic, very relaxed. Um, and confident. So we move on. We move on to our second round here. Also again fresh. And the, the Moldovan's busy, lovely there when he just rolled under that punch. And the Serbian looking to counter now. Pressing forward. And I just want to mention, 
in Nikola Svetkovic's corner there. Nikola Palkovic, Serbian trainer, who's produced numerous champions, runs a fantastic gym there in Belgrade. And former promoter of CFL, a great organization which no longer exists. Now, Nikola Svetkovic from Serbia, he seems to be pacing himself, which you just can't do in a three-round fight. We've got a, under a minute. Sorry. Oh. We've got two minutes left of this second round. So we're coming up to halfway through the fight. Now he's pressing forward. Nice jab. He avoids that punch. But Konstantin Rusu, at the moment, he's just coming forward, coming forward. And he must be shining in the judge's eyes. If you're the busier fighter, the more aggressive oh, under K1 nice scoring. Oh, nice uppercut. Yeah. Yeah, Rusu is the better fighter at the moment. He's the busier. I, I'm not sure that he's the stronger and more powerful, but if if Svetkovic isn't going to throw anything, it doesn't matter how powerful he is. And those big swinging punches, not finding the target. Nice combination by no, Rusu. Nice combinations, but... And finishes with a knee there, that was nice. If he had more power, this fight might be a different story. But he's certainly prepared for this contest well. Nice check there from the Serbian. Body kick. Last 10 seconds of the second round. And Svetkovic on the back foot now, right here at the finish. Oh, Big nice. right hand from Rusu, the Moldovan. And I'm going to give... Now, I didn't score that first round. Very close on the first one, but I'm going to give it 10-9. And 10-9. Two rounds to the Moldovan Konstantin Rusu so far, Jan, on my scorecard. With Nikola Svetkovic from Serbia. He's got it all to do in the third and final round. Now, has he been pacing himself? Is he going to come out in this third and final round and explode and do some damage? He's got one round left and he's got it all to do. So here we go. Third and final round of this under 80 kilogram KW full contact contest here at Senchi 21 in Varna, wow. Bulgaria. So the bell goes, the referee starts the action. Nice low kick, two low kicks there, but the Serbian falls backwards. It was a slip, another little low kick there. And again, they're gonna take their toll, but you know, this is the third and final round. And he's throwing that kick now more often. That will hurt, but you, he should have done that earlier on in the contest. Konstantin Rusu here not slowing up. Throwing combinations, finishing there with a low kick. Coming back. He's got great technique, he's doing all the right things, but he just needs a little bit more power, a bit more sting in it. And there we see Nikolas Svetkovic covering up, defending well, but you can't win a fight with defense. So he's got to commit. We've got less than two minutes left of this third and final round here. And the crowd looking tentatively. They want something to happen. 
And the Moldovans still busy, still good head movement coming forward. Trying for a high kick. And the Serbian here. Oh, oh nice, nice left hook there. Short and sharp. I think Sepkovic has got the tools, but he's just not committing. So we've got a minute left. And Konstantin Rusu here, he's relentless. You can't question his cardio. You can't question his commitment. And if he developed a little bit more power, he'd yes. be a very dangerous fighter yes. indeed. A jumping knee, yeah. <laughs> but Rusu took it well. So last 10 seconds, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Oh, nice. And nice low kick by Rusu. And Rusu just non-stop right up until the final yeah. bell. Good sportsmanship at the end. And that's what we're all about here at Senchi. The Budo ethic. You look yeah. at the look at the Moldovan there doing some press ups at the end of the contest. An absolute cardio machine. But as I was saying, sportsmanship, respect. We don't just like it here, but we demand it. You know, there's a lot of talk that Senchi's going to become the greatest show in the world. I think that's a tall order. It's something, um, you know, every event, Jan, has got a different flavor. The UFC's got its own flavor, very American. Um, Glory's got its own flavor and Infusion. There's some massive shows around the world. Senchi is growing and getting better each and every time. But we're holding on to those Budo ethics um, we've got the warrior spirit, um, Kyokushin background, and it's got its own flavor. Now, what I will say is some people like sausage, some people like salad, but yes. everyone yeah. likes steak. And that's what Senchi is, the steak of yeah. combat sports yeah. entertainment. It's very interesting, Senchi. Judge 3 scores at 28 to 30 in favor of the red corner. There we go. Three rounds to zero. Konstantin Rusu from Moldova comes out victorious with a relentless performance there. He came out non-stop. He's smiling at the end of it. His condition is absolutely fantastic. And I'm sure if he just develops a little bit more power, he can be a ferocious fighter. Jan Sukup's going to leave us. He'll be back later for more commentary. And I'm going to be joined shortly by another Kyokushin legend, Andrews Nakahara. It's probably worth mentioning at the end of this contest there, Nikola Zetkovic, he's a better fighter than he showed here. Although you're only as good as your opponent will allow you to be, but he came in at quite short notice, 10 days, however, you know, he trains in Belgrade, Serbia, in the Sidulic um, uh, Muay Thai uh, camp with Nikola uh, Palkovic. So he's going to be training all the time. He wouldn't have been that unfit. But he did not commit uh, in this fight. I'm sure he can come back and show us more. But you've got to show us more on the day if you want to come back. Now, we shall get 